In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little butterflies that start out as a flower. I'm sure you've probably seen these little guys in your grandma's house stuck to the refrigerator with a magnet. I know I did. They were all over the place when I was little. So I do have some fond memories of these while I'm sitting here teaching everyone how to make them. So go ahead, uh, gather up your supplies. You're going to need some worsted weight yarn in one, two, or three colors. You're also going to need a pack of pipe cleaners, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. So go ahead and get all that stuff together, and I'll meet you back here just in a minute. To start off with, we're going to need to get our yarn on our hook, right? So let's tie a slip knot here. Put your yarn on the hook. And now we need to make a foundation chain. We need to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 chains. Now take your hook and put it in the very first chain that you made. Just like that. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and pull it through. That's a slip stitch. Now what we're going to be doing is making this center here. And as you can see, it is made up of clusters of double crochets. So that's what we're going to be doing. First, we want to chain three, one, two, three. And this first little chain here, this is going to count as a double crochet. Okay, so this will be your first double crochet. Now into this little center piece here, make two more double crochets. One and two. This is a cluster. It's three double crochets together. This is a cluster. Chain three, one, two, three. Go back into this center part and make three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, now you have a cluster of three double crochets, chain three, another cluster of three double crochets. Chain three, make another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three. Now repeat this all the way around here until you have 24 double crochets and seven of these completed chain three spaces. You're going to end with three double crochets and a chain three space. Once you've done that, come back and I'll show you how to start on the next row. Okay, you should be finished with your 24 double crochets and you should now have seven of these little chain three spaces here. You're going to end with a chain three. Okay, this is double crochet number 24. Now you have a chain three. We need to attach it over here by going into the top chain stitch that you made in this very first row right here. Put your hook in, pull your yarn through, and through. Okay, chain one, and pull your yarn through and pull this tight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this second row here. And as you can see, this second row is made up of more double crochet clusters. There just happens to be more of them. Okay. So go ahead and get a different color of yarn. Get that on your hook. And we're going to start in one of these chain three spaces. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one. Put your hook in the chain three space, pull your yarn through, and make a single crochet just like that. Chain two. This is going to count as your first double crochet, okay? So go ahead and yarn over and let's make two more double crochet in that very same spot. Okay, here's your first cluster. Now let's move these little guys over. Chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna make another double crochet cluster into this very same spot. So make three more double crochet. One, two, 
three. Just like that. Now, moving on over to this next space here, you want to make three more double crochet. One, two, and three. There's one cluster. Go ahead and chain three. Make another cluster in that same spot of three double crochet. That was one. Here is two. And this is three. Okay, so you can see we're starting to build up our points here. In each chain three space, you need to make three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Skip to the very next chain three space, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Do this all the way around until you get into this very last space right here. And this last one, go ahead, do your three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, and join it with a slip stitch to this top chain right here from the very beginning. Go ahead and do that. I'll finish mine. And I'll check back with you here just in a minute. I have now finished all of my double crochet clusters and like I said previously just go ahead and put your hook in that top chain from this very first double crochet piece that you made here. Grab your yarn, pull it through and pull it through. Okay, that just finished this part. Chain one, cut your yarn, and pull this through. Okay, now we're done with our second row. For our third and final row, we're going to be making these petals here. And these are these are really easy too. They're just double crochets, <clears throat> excuse me. But they have a single crochet at the beginning and at the end of the cluster. Just to see how this bows out here. It has a curve there. If there's a single crochet at the beginning of each of these clusters which gives it that form. Okay, bear with me and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get another color of yarn. I'm going to use this pink color here. Go ahead and make your slip knot, get that on your hook. And once again, just like the previous row, start in any of these chain three spaces. Put your hook in, and we're going to make a single crochet. Like I said, the single crochet is very important. Now, for our one side of our petal, this next cluster, we're going to be making double crochets once again, but you need to make five. So this time, make five double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you see how that how this curves here? So we need to move this over because this is only one half of our petal here. Okay, move that over. Chain three. Make five more double crochets in the same spot. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now you see how, how this is rounded on this side, and this is blunt right here? This is where that single crochet comes into play. So make a single crochet right there. Okay, see our petal here, how this is rounded out now? And here's our peak, and it rounds back in. Okay, now we need to get from here all the way over to this spot here. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a single crochet right here in this middle space. Not, not this stitch right here. You see that stitch? Don't go into that stitch. You want to go into this whole space right here. So put your hook in there and make a single crochet. Just like that. And what that does is it helps to anchor this petal and also helps to bridge the space between the two petals that you're going to have here. Because if you don't do this little step right here and you just keep skipping around making petals, it's all going to it's all going to crumple up on you. Your butterfly is going to be crumpled. Nobody likes a crumpled butterfly. They're, they're not very pretty to look at. So you need to make this little single crochet in the middle to help bridge this space. Okay? Now that you've done that, let's go to this next chain three space. Put your hook in 
and make a single crochet. Make five more doubles. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Need some more yarn here. Oh, oh, now I'm hitting the camera. Look at that. Okay, once again, move these over. Chain three, one, two, three. Make five more double crochets. One, two, three, four. Running out of yarn again, Lord. Okay, and five. Okay, let's close up that end with another single crochet. Okay, now I have two petals. Remember this little space here before jumping to this next chain three. Remember this space. Go in and make a single crochet. Okay, now what you want to do all the way around here is in this little chain three space, remember do a single crochet, five doubles, chain three, five doubles, and a single. Come to this middle space here and make a single crochet. Do this all the way around. Make your final petal here and you're going to end with a single crochet in this little space. Okay? Once you make that single crochet, make a slip stitch and join to the first single crochet that you made at the very beginning here. Okay? So go ahead and work on that. I'm going to go grab some coffee, and I will meet back with you here just in a minute. And now you should have a flower. Okay? I've already finished my last petal. I made my last single crochet in this space here, and I used a slip stitch to attach it to the very first single crochet that I did in the first petal. Okay. Flower power. Now, we're going to turn our flower into a butterfly. Okay. So just lay your flower out like this. You see these two petals on the side here? Just grab those, pinch them together, fold it. There's your butterfly. Now, this is where the pipe cleaner comes in. Now, go ahead and get a pipe cleaner. I'm going to use yellow, I think. Okay. So go ahead, fold it in half, just pinch the bottom here, nice little, uh, nice little indention there. And you want to slide your butterfly body into that pipe cleaner and bring the pipe cleaner up like between those two petals on the very bottom, okay? Go ahead and give your pipe cleaners a couple good twists. This is going to help secure it to the body, just like that. Yeah. A little too many twists there. Okay, now let's curl the ends a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. And the way I do that is you just pinch the ends like this and just start turning it like that. So that it rolls back onto itself. There we go. All right. Now flip it over. Grab the other end here. And start rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. And there is your butterfly. Cute, right? Let's get all of his little butterfly buddies over here so that he's not lonely. Him, her, I don't know what it is. I guess you can stick a bow on it and make it a her. I don't know. So, like I said, you can glue a magnet to the back of these, stick it on the refrigerator. Um, these would be really, really cute if you're giving another crocheted gift you can make one and, you know, use it as a hang tag on your gift bag or decorate your packaging with it, whatever. If you want, instead of using a pipe cleaner, you can just make a chain, just crochet a chain and wrap that around and secure it right there with like either a slip stitch or just tie a knot in it so that you have a softer antenna and you can use that as an applique on a baby blanket or, you know, maybe even a throw pillow or something, you know, so a child wouldn't get hurt on it. Or you can just leave the flower like this. You could make it out of cotton. And if you make it out of cotton, then you have a coaster or, you know, a, a small little pot holder, you know, which would be cute. 
So just so many different uses for this pattern. You know, you maybe even could make a whole bunch of these flowers and attach them at the points of the petals. And then you can make a really lacy throw, you know, for the springtime when it's not, you know, all that cold. So there you have it. There's your little butterflies, formerly known as a flower. So if you like this video, please go down below, click that little subscribe button. It shows a lot of support for my work. Um, it shows that you also like these videos and I will continue to make them. I have lots and lots of beginner projects that I'm going to film for you guys and you're going to want to stick around for that. If you look in the video description box down below, I will have a link to the actual written pattern up on my website. Um, you know, you can go there, you can print it out and keep it in your, your yarn pattern notebook thing, whatever you have. I have one. I don't know what you have. Maybe just throw it in a box in the corner. Who knows? But uh, thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.